Hey, let's go ahead and transition over to our weather. Let's talk about how beautiful it is outside for the animals today. We're seeing mostly clear skies for the most part. Southwest Southwest Virginia Community College camera showing clear skies, but you really look at it. You can see there is still a lot of cloud cover out there as well, but just seeing a few breaks in the clouds across the region. Now that northwest flow is continuing. We'll see more westerly flow as we go later into the night hours and into tomorrow. We'll see more westerly flow, but we're still seeing a little bit of drier air pushing into our area. But along those southern counties, we're talking along Highway 460 and south of 460, we're seeing a little bit more moisture, seeing a little bit more rain showers. You zoom in, we're talking towards Tazewell County, even portions of Mercer County with County. We just saw a few heavier showers push through there, but for the most part, showers have been mainly light. We're dealing with a very weak frontal boundary here that's pushing through our area. And it's also very moisture starved as well. Not a lot of moisture with it, so that is a good thing. We are seeing a few rain showers, but they're not really washing out the day. Overall, today pretty much was a virtual repeat of yesterday, except we didn't have the rain showers and the more clouds. We're seeing temperatures still right around the mid-60s and even Current temperatures still sitting around the mid-top or 60s. A few lower 70s. Welch at 71. Grundy still sitting at 71 there. Look at Hinton there. 72 degrees in that spot. So we are still seeing some very warm spots for the evening. So if you have any plans this evening, it's a good evening to get out and maybe look at the sunset. When I say virtual repeat, look at our temperature difference from yesterday. We're basically setting even. We're pretty much even where we were at this time yesterday. Your evening planner, if maybe you want to head out, see the sunset. It's going to be a gorgeous sunset. Imagine all those high clouds blending in with that sun coming down. You might get a great picture of that. You can send that in to us as well. I might show it tonight. We're looking at temperatures right around the mid 50s. We'll call it right around the sunset time. Chance of precipitation though as we go through the next couple of days really to start the work week going to be going up. Tomorrow looks to be kind of a virtual repeat of today. We're looking at isolated showers, maybe a rumble of thunder somewhere, but as we go into Tuesday, that's when those rain showers will become more widespread and kind of linger throughout midweek. Let's go ahead and talk about your future cast for tomorrow. Waking up in the morning, upper 40s, a few lower 50s. We'll be a little bit warmer this tomorrow morning than we were this morning. We're still dealing with those isolated showers across the region tomorrow. Temperatures right around the mid 60s. We'll see a little bit of drying out as we go into the evening tomorrow. Now watch this. Tomorrow night we dry out. You're probably thinking, hey, we're, we're going to be good, right? But then as we go into Tuesday, here comes another cold front pushing through our area. With this, though, we could see more widespread rain and maybe even some, some stronger severe storms possible as well for Tuesday afternoon. We've got a slight chance of severe weather to our west. Our western portions of the viewing area are under a marginal risk of severe weather on Tuesday. This could be maybe an isolated, stronger storm. We're talking gusty winds, heavy downpours. The threat doesn't look too high right now, but we'll continue to monitor it as we get closer to it. Just to recap tonight, more clouds, stray showers continue. A few clouds into your Monday. The stray showers continue throughout Monday as well before drying out tomorrow night. But look at your seven day here. We're actually going to stay pretty unsettled as we go through midweek, but we actually warm up a little bit with that unsettled weather, Haley. All right, thanks, Brandon.